Hi everyone, this is Karma Lichty with Onward Studios. I want to give you an overview of digging a little bit deeper in Google Analytics. If you've been following this, this series, if you will, I've done a couple blog posts about how to set up a Google Analytics account, how to go into Google Analytics and get a really quick overview about your website traffic. But in this video, I want to show you how to dig a little bit deeper to get information that might be useful in how you can, I don't know, how you can promote your products or some pages you might want to focus on to really engage your audience more with your website. If you haven't seen those black blog posts, go ahead and visit onwardstudios.com and then jump back here to, to dive in a little bit deeper into Google, into Google Analytics. I'm on the graph right now that shows when you're inside traffic sources and overview. And this, I believe, is also, well, it's not quite the same page you see when you come into Google Analytics. But I have a graph here showing the number of visits per day over the past month. Below that, I have the number of visited people, number of people who visited my site. And then I see this pie chart of where the traffic is coming from. Most of it's coming from search traffic. I have some referral traffic. So this is, these are links on other websites that are jumping to my site. And then direct traffic, which means somebody went to into the URL and just typed in my website URL address. What's interesting here is right now it's showing the keywords used from the search traffic on how they come to my site. Not provided means, and my understanding is, these people are already signed into their Google account and have done a search, so we're not able to track how they're searching to get to my site. Below that are some of the keywords or phrases being used to get to my website. I'm going to click on WordPress tutorial for beginners. This graph now shows me the day they visited this particular page. And if I click on secondary dimension, I can find out more information about these visitors. For example, if I want to see how they're coming or where they're coming from, I can choose, I'm going to choose country. And notice most, actually maybe two thirds of the visitors are coming from the United States, another third from the India and the rest are scattered from other countries, which is very interesting. Let me go back. to our top level again, compare that to this phrase about PDF file sizes. If I want to see where most of these people are coming from, I'm going to choose country under visitors. And just under half of those people are coming from India, Malaysia, so that, that area of the world, versus what we saw in the WordPress keyword phrase, most of those people are coming from the United States. So just interesting information about where, where your visitors might be coming from by keywords. Back at the top. So that's the search traffic. If you want to see the referral traffic and where they're coming from, you click on the sourcing and find the actually domains that, they're, that your referral traffic is coming from. For the direct traffic, you can see where they're landing directly on your page. You can view that information here. Let's go to content, site content over, do an overview. So initially when I come in here, it's showing me an overview of, of number of visitors on the website, number of pages that reviewed over the past month. And it's listing the pages that were the most visited. It's showing me the number of times that page was visited in the decreasing sequence. If you wanted to see the search term being used to find these pages, you could click here to find that out. Except there's not enough search information for these particular pages, so we'll, we won't look any deeper with that. Right now it's listing it by page. You can also list it by page title. I'm going to click on this top one. So now this graph shows me how many times this particular page was visited over the past month. 
how much time is spent on the page. That's actually really good time. So apparently they're really digesting the information on this page. So I might consider how can I make use of this interest in this particular page as much time as they're spending on this page? How can I engage them even more? How can I introduce them to another product or another service? If I'm able to do that, this bounce rate would come down, which would be a very, a very good thing. I want to see how they're coming into this, onto this page and where they're going after this page. I'm going to scroll up here and click on Navigation Summary. And this is going to give me two columns. This is going to show me where they're coming from, and this is going to show me where they're going to. So some might be coming directly to this page. Others are coming from previous pages. Upon leaving this page, some are exiting right out, and some are going to the next pages. So this shows me the next pages, and this shows me the previous pages. So I make make, make use of how they're navigating through the site um, to see what I might want to change on my site and how they're navigate on on what they're clicking on next or where on or on where they're coming from. And you can do this for any of your most visited pages. If I click back out to go to my content again. I see how they're coming to my home page. Navigation summary. So where they're coming from, if they're not coming directly to the home page, and where they're going to after they're visiting my home page. So very um, critical, important information that you can make use of in how to engage your audience even more on your website. So I wraps up this quick tutorial on how to get to dive a little bit deeper into your Google Analytics information and how to make use of information to increase engagement on your website.